Hi everyone, now this is part two uh, of the blog about uh, the wood my new apiary and the first part was just really just to have a look around, see what was there, just see how things were. Um, and I think it's rather wonderful personally so I'm very keen to get up there <coughs> and um, at the moment we're now into November, uh, it's quite cold and getting dark very early and really I don't need to do anything until next season which would be say March April time something like that but I'm keen to get up there and at least get something up there uh, ready for next season so uh, that's what I'm going to do and um, this blog is going to be about two things firstly uh, the bees and, and also the sort of stuff that I need to take up there now firstly the bees, uh, it might seem uh, a difficult job to uh, move beehives but it isn't as bad as you think uh, provided you do it at night when the bees are quiet and in the hive and then move them again uh, sort of usually in the morning uh, and the, the second thing that uh, I want to do is just move some sort of infrastructure stuff, you know, things that I'm going to need up there, um, some tables, uh, a chair and uh, that, that sort of thing. Now the first thing is going to be the bees uh, and this is how I move them. This is one of the hives that I'm going to move up to uh, the wood. This is a swarm that's currently in Bumble in Ravenston and uh, I call the Queen Maserati and uh, they've been doing okay this year, not enormous thing but uh, they seem fairly sort of vigorous. Now to move a hive might seem a bit of a problem and if you choose to do it during the height of summer uh, at midday when all the bees are flying around you will have a problem several thousand of them in fact because the bees will not take kindly to being moved so the way you normally do these sort of things is to do it or start doing it uh, either late at night or early in the morning and, and that's so that all the bees are inside the hive tucked up asleep and uh, won't be too disturbed by uh, being moved around. Now the first thing that I've done to get ready for this is to put a sheet underneath it and I've got another one around the other side which will go on the top uh, and also there's a you can see one of the two ratchet straps, the blue things, uh, and they, they are used fairly obviously for keeping the hive to all in one piece when they're being moved. Uh, I did once move uh, a hive and everything shifted in the back of the car and the bees got out. <laughs> Uh, which really wasn't nearly as much fun as you might imagine. So uh, there's uh, ratchet straps going this way and that way and the sheet's going over the top so hopefully everything keeps inside. Um, in the far corner over there you can see a piece of wood and uh, some people shove uh, pieces of foam across the entrance there to keep the bees in. Uh, I'm going to screw that piece of wood on, it's a bit more secure and um, I'm going to do that uh, this evening when it gets dark ready for the hive to be moved the following morning. Okay it's about 10 o'clock, it's quite a nice day today and the time has come to um, move the hive. Uh, no obvious sign of bees getting out, there's a wasp down there having a, a look round. So let's get this thing ready. Uh, this does fold this over, just a bit of extra protection.
here's the other one. And the farmer's out doing something over there. I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing rather. Okay. Uh, I just need to tidy that one up a little bit. But we're ready to go. And uh, I'm going to load it up in a little barrow I've got down there wheel it home and get it in the back of the Land Rover. Okay, we're here. Um, oop. So uh, I've got it on the table, okay? And really it's just a question of taking these sheets off. I've taken the ratchet straps off. Um, the interesting stuff will obviously be when I open the entrance up. Uh, and they were a bit hacked off, but they're quiet now. But I have got my hood in case they get a bit moody. So let's just see what we've got. There's one. Okay, we we don't seem to have any escapees. I can hear them in there. Probably keen to get out. Right, okay. So, next and final job is just to remove this and uh, I'll bring the camera up closer so you can see what's going on. Right, this last one. And absolutely nothing. Uh, okay. Oh, here comes the first one. Hello there. There's a few of them coming out now just to see what the hell is going on. Now what they'll do is they've got to re readjust themselves and uh, they have no idea where they are and this one here He's doing the classic thing they will start coming out and then fly out sort of just about here and just have a look around they will realize they are somewhere uh, they don't know so they've got to reorganize re sort of coordinate themselves so they start flying short distances look back at the hive and get used to seeing it and gradually the flights will get bigger you can see they're just moving around here and not going anywhere and then gradually as they get used to it they'll move further and further away and then they'll get on with their uh, beekeeping business so that wasn't too bad um, the uh, hive now I'm just going to leave it for a while um, and uh, probably next week I'll move the second one up here Today I'm up at uh, the Spinney in Scored End and this is the second hive that's going to go up to the wood. Uh, in the 
other uh, section about moving the bees I said that uh, normally I would come up uh, late at night and uh, put a block on the front of the hive and I did that last night and it was pouring with rain really strong wind and uh, I'd left my mic at home uh, so there's no way I could have uh, done a clip of it uh, as you can tell from this little clip This is um, the other hive that's going to go on. However, today is uh, nicer, still quite windy, so there may be some wind noise in the background. And uh, I've put the entrance block on and uh, I've put a ratchet strap around it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully be able to lift it and put it on that trolley and then I've parked the van as close as I can to an entrance that's there so I can get it on there and uh, it looks like I might have an audience today, the cows are back okay so hopefully that will work okay and then we're off to the wood now we've uh, got to the wood i'll give you a, a wider view of where we are in a minute and uh, i just started to open the entrance as you can see they were quite keen to get out so i'm not going to get too close to them for the time being in fact i'll probably just leave them uh, as they are there's a few bees flying around me I haven't got my suit on so uh, I'll just stop this for the time being and then we'll just give them 10 minutes or so to settle down so we've got the two hives in place and uh, the one on the left was the one that's been here for a little while and it seemed to be okay there are bees coming and going and the one that we've just put in have uh, settled down and uh, we've got a few bees coming and going um, but everything seems to be okay so that's the the bees in place now we've just got to put a few bits and pieces up here a few tables and we'll do that next now the other thing that we need to do is just generally get some uh, sort of stuff up there things that I need when I'm beekeeping here I've got a table behind me and there's a box down there with bits and pieces in so that they're there when I need them uh, in the event of me forgetting to bring it with me so that's that's what this part uh, of the blog is going to be about uh, the main thing is going to be about the tables that I put the hives on now uh, the hives are very heavy indeed and and it's a struggle to lift them so what you normally would do is to put them on some form of table to bring the hives up to sort of working heights or waist level like there uh, and to do that you put them on some tables now as with most things you can um, have very nice expensive things like this or what I do is just make some cheap tables out of uh, pallet wood and um, my hives, all of them I think, are on uh, pallets and um, my neighbour Colin very kindly uh, gave me a couple to use for this and this is how I made them into the tables Now these are the tables that Colin gave me and uh, although they're absolutely fine they are a little bit wider than I need them to be so the first thing I needed to do was just trim off uh, the sides so that they uh, were just the right size to put the uh, beehives on Now to make the legs they are just simple posts, 4x4, um, four four, which are cut into 18 inch lengths.
and uh, fortunately the uh, cutoffs from the side I can use to put some struts across the legs just to make them a little bit stronger. So finally we've got a couple of uh, tables to put some beehives on and uh, the bigger one there is what I'm going to use as a table uh, for things that I leave up there like brood frames and, and uh, smoky fuel, that sort of thing. So let's get them up to the wood. And the two new tables are now up at the wood waiting for some hives to be put on them. Um, and I think we're pretty much done for the time being. There are the two hives that have been moved up and although it's cool this morning I think a few of them were flying and uh, over in that corner is the big table where I'm going to store um, various things like spare uh, brew boxes and stuff like that. So we're in, uh, everything looks to be pretty much okay and uh, that's it for the time being so thanks for watching and I'll see you in a bit. Things have changed a bit up here as far as this stuff is concerned. This is all the kit that we saw when uh, we first came up here and I said I didn't know who it belonged to but I was going to try and find out. Now there is a, uh, a local beekeeper I know who um, is alleged to have beehives spread all over the place and because he's not a well man he hasn't been able to look after them for some considerable time so I assume they were his now I've contacted somebody who's worked with him and he said these are not his bees so I don't know who they belong to or rather should I say I didn't know who they belong to but I do now because I'm going to claim them so uh, there will be another blog uh, after this one going through how these hives the uh, the full hives there and the polynukes down there how I clean them up and get them ready for next season <laughs>